Hi, my name's Debbie. I'm 22 and I'm living in Buffalo, New York right now. I graduated from University of Rochester with a Bachelor of Science in Molecular Genetics. And aside from that, I've been a huge nerd my whole life. I've probably watched Star Trek since before I could talk. That is actually true. I made a flow chart of all the reasons I'm nerdy. So let's get started. What would I bring on to King of the Nerds that no one else would? Well, I could tell you fun facts about science. In the field of epigenetics, that means something higher than just DNA alone, there's this cool process called DNA methylation. What? Where small sections of DNA have these little markers on them. They occur on cytosine residues and actually occur most frequently on CPG sites, which means you have a cytosine next to a guanine. So it's like if a sequence is like A, T, G, C, G, T, this is a CPG site. You'll definitely be hard pressed to find a nerd more outgoing, interesting, crazy, smart, enthusiastic, fun-loving, all those other adjectives and stuff than me. I really like being a nerd. I take a lot of pride in my nerdy possessions, in my nerdy demeanor. And every time someone's like, Debbie, Debbie, I don't know that. I, I, sorry, I don't really, it's way over my head. I'm like, no, it's not over your head. You can understand that. Let me tell you about it. And that's kind of what I do. I just go through life, kind of spreading science and joy. In fourth grade, I did a report on germination. I was in fourth grade and I germinated seeds in little plastic bags with wet paper towels. It was fun. First, I was a player of Dungeons and Dragons. I've taken many characters, such as Lyanna, yeah, the elf druid. And this one time, I was a dwarf assassin. We were stuck in between these two giant rock walls, and we had to uh, navigate the passage. But there was another huge group of people coming through, and our party couldn't get through. And I thought that we should go underneath the legs of the giant elephant that was blocking the path. It was pretty exciting. From there, I decided that I wanted to DM my own game, because I always wanted to. And I even kind of bookmarked parts of, parts of the book. I like the pictures. My friends and I frequent gaming conventions where we are avid LARPers. If you're not aware, LARP stands for Live Action Role Play. It's not necessarily hitting each other with those giant boffer foam swords, but we can be anyone we want or anywhere we want, and the Game Master runs the whole thing, and it's just a really good time. So I have a lot of duct tape. Some people ask for money or gift cards or something for Christmas. And I asked for rolls of multicolored duct tape. I fix things, I just put them places, and most importantly, I make really awesome duct tape wallets. Don't get me wrong, wallets aren't the only thing I can make. But I do make pretty intricate wallets. They've got pockets. This one even has a flap and a place for your driver's license. All of my best duct tape wallets are with my friends who enjoy them very much. I'm in the process of making this one for my boyfriend. It's made with bacon duct tape. Bacon duct tape. Here I have a poster or a print or something of a performance art project I did that I built solely out of cardboard boxes and lots of duct tape. It was on procrastination and I did it in the two hours before it was due. Like a champ. huge amount of time at the greatest place in the world, Copernic Observatory in Vestal, New York. 
I not only went to astronomy summer camp from third grade until the year before I left for college, but I was also a camp counselor after I stopped going there. And then on top of that, I volunteered for over 386 hours in high school. Actually, over the course of three years, I volunteered that much. I really love astronomy. I love looking at the stars and feeling like we're not alone. I know that the chance of life in the universe is definitely there's definitely a chance. There's got to be. We can't be the only organic or even, I, mean, I don't know, they could be silicon based. I really like thinking about that. The universe is huge. It's so big. I mean, and what's our definition of life? Anyway, like we're just basing the definition of life on what we are and that's a little bit self-centered, don't you think? Yeah. I have a tattoo of a constellation on my back. Do you want to see it? Oh, I should probably, here, can you see all of it? It's Cassiopeia. I basically have been watching Star Trek since I was a little tiny kid. Both of my parents were huge fans of Star Trek. Well, my mom was a huge fan of William Shatner. Uh, we basically watched Star Trek while we were having dinner. My dad taped almost every single episode of TNG and TOS on VHS. Better than that, he stopped and started the recordings before and after every commercial, so none of his tapes have commercials on them. I really like coffee. You could say I'm pretty addicted to it. Right here, I have the caffeine molecule mug. I have some coffee, like some coffee. Smells so good. Oh, oh, there's another one. Here we have DNA, this squiggly thing that you think of, and that's made up of what are the base pairs? Adazine, tyrosine, cytosine, and guanine. Yay! Do you guys know that I can ride a unicycle? Just kidding. <laughs> the sports I'm really good at are badminton and air hockey. I did a push up this one time, kind of. Anyone can solve a Rubik's Cube, but I can solve a Rubik's Sphere. I have a quirky, interesting side that's hard to beat. I can do weird stuff. I say totally random things. I tell stories backwards. Sometimes I don't even tell stories and I just kind of ramble on about nothing or whatever and then I space off. I'm like, whoa, what's that? Ooh. And, well, no, but really, what is that? And you know what? I just love life and I love being a nerd. And I love doing nerdy things, and I would love to do nerdy things on national TV for everyone to see. That would be great. And you know what? I really want to wear that crown. I rock a Star Trek fish in my car. I have a D20 on my keychain, and I just kind of blurt out random science facts whenever I feel like it. it just happens. And I have these awkward moments, but overall, I think I'm pretty funny, and I would be great on this show. And I drew this little picture on my whiteboard. Debbie equals next king of the nerds. I want to wear that crown. Maybe it'll be made of duct tape. Maybe I can make my own crown out of duct tape. Ooh. Bonus! Rod Sterling is from my hometown, so it's kind of like I grew up in the Twilight Zone. Doo -doo.